usually a relatively short one and we're not going to change the habit of a lifetime so today um, I'm going to go for a birthday drink tonight with a few of the lads so I'm going to wrap up at five o'clock and it's already three uh, and of course enjoy enjoy a few beverages uh, I did want to touch upon a couple of things though before I disappeared one of them is uh, how much I'm actually enjoying fabricating these Roman blinds because I'm learning a new skill. I've done a little bit of sewing in the past before but only kind of holes in jeans kind of thing. Never anything on this scale. And I noticed yesterday a lot of people had left comments highlighting uh, you know what I can and can't do. Well basically saying well, is there anything I can't do and there's lots of things I can't do but I just want to touch upon how I'm able to do all these different skills or I, I'm not mastering them by any stretch of the imagination but of course I'm uh, I'm doing pretty well on a lot of things such as the welding, the sewing you know the carpentry all that kind of stuff uh, you pretty much get about 85% towards Grand Master and you're pretty much good enough to do anything. Um, that extra 15% is uh, what you pick up after thousands and thousands of hours doing the same job and for what it's worth it ain't worth doing. Uh, I watched a video the other week by AVE, Ave. A lot of you might be subscribed to him and he touched on exactly the same thing about picking up a skill and about the 10,000 hours thing and I thought it was uh, poignant and bang on the money. So go and check out his channel if you've not seen it already, AVE, which is uh, Arduino versus Evil I believe it stands for. But yeah, he's a right stand-up guy and he just fucks around in the shop. Fantastic, uh, fantastic YouTuber. But the reason why I feel that picking up a new skill is pretty much open to anybody, um, it's all about attitude, basically. So, 
people who already have mastered a skill, let's say somebody who's been doing it for years or do it for a living, they're going to tell you how difficult it is. Everybody's got a dick to swing, right? Everybody wants you to think that what they do is really tough. Well, I call bullshit on all of that. We're all upright apes at the end of the day, and one man ain't got a special gift over another man. Everybody, everybody can do what anybody else can do. And that's sort of the mantra that I tend to uh, approach jobs with these days. So I think, well, if Jeff can do it, then I can do it. If Terry can weld, then I can weld. You might make a few fuck ups the first time you pick up a tick torch or whatever, but persevere and you will pick it up. The sewing I've actually found uh, relatively easy to master. Well, I say master. I'm blowing my own trumpet again. There you go. This is what people do. They blow their own trumpet to make you think that what they do is difficult. It isn't difficult. I picked it up. I mean, I'm nowhere. I've only done straight line stitching. Let's get get it straight here. Well, there's a couple of seams in here, for instance. Like I've joined two pieces of cloth, and I've used the same seam that you'd find on a pair of jeans, for instance. You know, the outside seam. I've used that. And I think it's made a relatively invisible joint. So, just a couple of hours on Google, watching YouTube videos, have a go at it yourself. Doesn't matter what or whatever it is, growing tomatoes in the greenhouse, sewing curtains, or welding up a brewery. If I can do it, then I think you can do it. And uh, my advice to anyone would be, give it a go what you got to lose. I mean, come on, honestly, what have you got to lose? You're a long time dead, my friend. You may as well have a go at everything. And on that note, I'm going to finish up here and I'm going to have a go on the ale and enjoy my birthday. We'll see you tomorrow, provided I'm not totally hungover like a dog. Cheers.